Hi, in this video we are going to <coughs> solve some of the question papers from premier schools. This question is from, I think it's from Taunan and now the first section, each question carries one mark and there are 10 such questions. So, 11 to 15 carry two marks each so there are 10 marks 10 questions of one mark questions and five two mark questions so let's just go ahead and try solving these questions round round off three two four four five eight to the nearest hundred so we want to first of all say down the number first three Three, two, four, four, five, eight, and we have to round off to the nearest hundred. This is units place, this is tenths place, and this is the hundreds place. So this is where we need to make a decision. So after four, we have to retain up to this, and the others can become zeros because you're going to rounding off to the nearest hundred. So after what the number that we need to look for is after uh, 5 what do we sorry after 4 what do we have what we have is 5 if it is 5 greater than or equal to 5 then we can increment this number by 1 so the answer would become 3, three 2 4 and this 4 is incremented 1 so it becomes 5 and 0 0 so the answer is three two four five hundred here so that's rounded off to the nearest hundred now the next question express 0.375 as a percentage here the number is given to us in the form of a decimal form right and if you are converting this into a percentage it should be a fraction uh, where the denominator is hundred so right now it's like 0.37 by over one so now if I want to make the denominator 100 I have to multiply it by 100 and when I do that I also have to multiply the numerator by 100 so in this case um, this the dot here it will when you multiply 100 or any such numbers the number of zeros here will influence where this dot is going to be after the multiplication so in this case there are two zeros so it will jump from here and it will make two jumps right and so it will be 37.5 divided by 100 so that is 37 percent sorry 0.5 percentage so the answer is 37.5 percentage which is 2 and arrange these fractions in descending order so again we know that when you are comparing fractions we need to make the denominators all same so let me write down 11 over 12 and 5 over 6, 3 over 4, 7 over 9. We need to make the denominators to be the same. Um, so when you look at these numbers, you, there's one common number which should come to your mind if you have uh, done quite an amount of you know multiplication and all. So 36 seems to be a number which can be divided by all of them. 9 times 4 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36, 6 times 6 is 36 and 12 times 3 is 36. So what we can do is for the first one 12 times 3 is 36 so numerator and denominator multiply by 3 and 5 by 6 it's times 6 is 36 so numerator also multiply by 6 and 3 by 4 times 9 times 9 and 7 by 9 times 4 times 4 so this becomes 33 over 36 and this number is 30 over 36 and this is 3 9 27 over 36 and this is 28 over 36 now it says from descending order so from the highest if a number if when the denominators are all the same the number with the highest numerator is the greatest one so it all depends on the numerator in this case so you can very well see that 33 is more than 30 30 is more than 28 which is more than 27 so the order goes on like that so this is um, this is number 1 and this is number 2 and this is number 3 7 over 9 
followed by 3 over 4. So in this case, let's take a look which is correct, 11 over 12 and 5 over 6, 7 over 9 and 3 over 4. So this is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. How many seconds are there in 3 by 5 hour? See, when you want to convert from hour to minutes, they are asking for seconds, but first let's convert to minutes. 3 by 5 is an of an hour, and we know 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So this is what is there, right? So you know, 5 times 12 is 60, 3 times 12 is 36. So there we have 36 minutes. And to express this 36 minutes in seconds, we have to multiply it by 60. So that gives 0, you can put down 6, 6, 36, 6. And we have a carry on 3, 3, 6, 80, 90, 20, 21. 21. So that answer is 2160. Now, number 5, we have this 340 times 2.2 2 is equal to 340 times uh, whatever is the number here and 22. We need to find what number is here. But if you look here, 340 here and 340 here are the same, so we don't have to do anything in that aspect. But here it's 2.2, here it's 22. Now, 2.2 is nothing but 22 over 10 and here which means that this number here should be 1 over 10 and 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1 so this should be 0 0.1 because it's given in decimals here so the answer would be number 2 here now we're going to look at the switch of the triangles has an area of 12 centimeter square so if you look at it for all these triangles this is the height of all these triangles let's say triangle ABC height is 6 and even this even if you take C D B right this is the height because when you have a triangle something like this even if it is slanted for example if you have a triangle which is slanted the height of this triangle is uh, perpendicular to the base if you draw a line from the vertex top vertex to the base at uh, 90 degrees then this is the height so which means 6 is the height for any of these triangles here so which of one of the triangles has an area of 12 centimeter square first let's see 3 6 18 divided by half definitely is 9 which is not 12 and let's say take this whole thing triangle ABC let me take ABC ABC is half times 6 times 3 so this is definitely no right the next is BCD BCD so BC T the is half times base is 2 times height is 6 definitely not the case then uh, BCE BCE is um, this one BCE so the base is 4 height is 6 BCE equals being half times 4 times 6 so this one um, 2 2 6 12 Right, this is correct. And triangle ACT, it just says, uh, gives us one question, so by right you can assume that the other one would be wrong, but just want to double confirm ACD. Uh, Again, the base is 5, height is 6. ACD equals half times base is 5 times height is 6, so 2 times 3 is 6, 5, 3 is 15, which is not equal to 12 centimeters square. The next question is find the perimeter of the quadratic circle, this one. Now, perimeter, eight, um, let's see how the triangle, this is the quarter circle and this is 21 centimeters, which also means this is also 21 centimeters. Now, perimeter of the quad circle includes this quarter circle, this arc 
and this radius and this radius. First let's find what is the total perimeter of the circle because now you know that radius is 21. So that is given by 2 pi r and pi is, we have to, they've asked us to take pi as 22 by 7, 2 times 22 by 7 times 21 and you know this is nicely, 21 is nicely divided by 7 so let's cancel this to get 3 so that is 44 times 3 which is equal to 132 centimeter is the total this is the total um, perimeter of the circle or it's also called the circumference of the circle now we need that for a quarter circle so we have to divide this by 4 132 divided by 4 that gives 4 3 is 12 and 4 3 is 12 so 33 centimeter so this 33 centimeter is for this portion only so we need to add 21 21 so 2 times 21 here is giving you 42 plus 33 that gives you 75 centimeter so yep we have the second option here So the first question here right now is Jeff is facing north so it's about uh, direction so we can first write something like this so if these are the four directions if this is north the opposite one is south and to the right of this is east and to the left is west now we start uh, seeing how he is turning Jeff is facing north so he is facing north now he makes 1 by 4 turn clockwise right if he actually goes whole one whole circle one whole circle that will be one full turn so right now one quarter turn has to be up to this here so he's going to turn this side and then followed by a half turn anti-clockwise so half a turn is 180 degrees and that he does in the anti-clockwise direction so he goes on from this side to turning this side so he is now facing here facing this side and from here he makes a final turn to face southeast see south and east exact middle here is south southeast and we also know that this quarter is actually um, 90 degrees so from here he is actually turning from here to here first that is 90 degrees and then southeast exactly middle middle of these two so he goes up to here and which is 55 degrees so now he is facing southeast so sorry this is 90 degrees so 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees so find the angle that he has to make the for the final turn just the angle is about just the final one which is 135 degrees and it's anti-clockwise yeah to show the direction so here the first one is the answer